throw the Iggy to my man, Blake Chadwick, and he's going to get the festivities started. As I said, the tail of the tape is about a wash. Both guys uh, <coughs> a little bit short for the weight. Your opening belt at XFN 19, live at the Seminole Casino in Coconut Creek, is a welterweight belt brought to you by the Daniel Sagiv Law Group. Introducing first in the blue corner, standing at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, with a record of three wins and two losses, fighting out of junior MMA Nuremberg in the Czech Republic. Here is Yarosov Kuz. And his opponent in the red corner, standing at five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, with a record of three wins and one loss, fighting out of American Tough Team Wolfpack in Sunrise, Florida. Here's Anthony Baldocki. Anthony Baldocki and Yaroslav Kuntz are set to kick it off and get this party started. Sean, you know, uh, the, the, the house has been filling up throughout the night, but tonight uh, uh, they got here early. They, they've learned their lesson about missing the first fight of the night. Yeah, for sure, Blake. It, it, it's become a, uh, a tradition here, and I'm sure these people who have come often know what's in store for them. Here we go, round number one. Touch, Underway. Touch of the gloves. Eldaki and his American tights. I like those. Yep. Stalking forward, controlling the center of the cage. You know I always, always, always approve of that. Nice leg kick by Kuntz. Daldachi pulls his way in, puts Kuntz up against the cage. Low on that, looking to pick the ankle. Good job by Kuntz pulling him back up with a cross face. Oh, mm. Strong body left takedown. Absolutely. That was tough. Someone in the crowd showed a lot of approval. This is a Japanese crowd. Yeah, obviously. Nice and quiet. Are we going to get some hand claps? A couple yeah. guys from the... Uh, from the Titan fighting roster, the champ champ, Shorty Jose Torres and uh, um, <clears throat> Rami Hamad uh, just walked in here. Uh, so uh, getting all the stars, King Mo, King Mo in the house. Uh, Eldaki working over that body, Blake. That's a smart move, especially first round. Yeah. Get Kuntz breathing a little bit heavier. Kuntz got a, got a pretty tight wizard with, with, uh, with one arm, no point in making too much space. Uh, nice work to the body. I like the way he's digging that instep in there. Call me old school. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of that, obviously, but I come from a different world. I like that Ricardo Arona pass. It worked very well for him. Dominant side control established for Baldoki. Which, which was a huge gamble with that with that underhook that yeah. he had on that side. Yeah, the, yeah, that wizard was too deep for that, but it paid off for him. Very sloppy going to mount there, but I like that position too. Just uh, well, he could, he, you know, Baldoki could, if it, with a little bit of pressure, could have that, could have the back if he just have to move, slide that shin right underneath the back. Start mm -hmm. working that way for that arm bar that's right there, mm -hmm. obviously. <coughs> now we're getting some ground and pound. Touched him a little bit just to keep him honest. Like to see Kuntz turn in, not out. Start looking for a guard. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to get to get a lot of action out of Baldaki in this in this position. Going a little higher with Baldaki, looking to kind of get the hips up underneath. Maybe he might be looking for. There we go. Would. Yeah, nice, good job attacking the back. Both hooks in right away. And the crowd the crowd responds. I I feel like we're in Japan here. Yeah, for sure. Working the chin already Flatten is Baldaki. Yeah. Those punches aren't landing at all. Re referee Mike Cardosa. That uh, only only took one to get in clean. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number one, your winner, via TKO, in the red corner, Anthony Bell. 